Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be talking about how to multiply integers using tic-tac-toe. This is a really cool and fun stuff. So let's go ahead and look at the very first example over here and look at this tic-tac-toe and see how these positive and negative signs are distributed. So first of all, if you look at these over here at the diagonal, only positive signs are placed over here. The rest are negative signs. So next thing what we're going to do is we're going to see how positive and negative sign going to behave when it comes to multiplication. So let's go ahead and get started. Positive times negative would give us what? Negative. Negative times positive would result in what? Negative and finally negative times negative is going to be positive. So in this example we use cross to multiply signs. But sometimes people use parentheses to multiply things. So over here you might see this kind of example as well. So positive times negative is going to be negative. How about negative times positive would result in negative. And finally, negative times negative is going to be positive. Those are the very simple and crucial kind of building blocks when it comes to integers. So here are few I just put down notation that you could encounter when it comes to multiplication. So sometimes we'll be using a cross, sometimes we'll be using a parenthesis, sometimes it's going to be asterisk or sometimes it's going to be a dot. By the way this is a dot it's not a decimal. Just keep in your mind. Okay let's move on to integers and how we define integers. Integers are nothing more than just the whole numbers with the negative and positive signs including a zero. So you can see the, all the counting numbers on the right hand side are part of the integers and on this side of zero on the left hand side these are negative counting numbers. So on the right hand side we have all positive and on the left hand side they are all negative. One more thing, just keep in your mind on this number line, as you tend to, if you go towards right, the number tend to increase. And if you go leftward from zero, the number tend to decrease. So once again, if you go towards right, numbers tend to increase. And if you go towards left, number tend to decrease. Let's go ahead and do a few examples. How about this one over here? We've been asked to multiply negative 3 times negative 5. Once again, from the above example, we have noticed that negative times negative is always positive, and 3 times 5 is what? 15. So this becomes positive 15, or just simply 15, because positive 15 and 15 are the same thing. So sometimes you might see this kind of example with parentheses, they are same thing. Negative 3 times negative 5 is going to be positive 15 as well, or just simply positive 15 could be written as simply what? 15. So let's do a few more examples. How about this one over here? So you can see this negative 3 times 5 and we know that 5 could be written as positive 5. You can write like this one. So negative 3 times positive 5. We know that negative times positive is negative. 3 times 5 is what? 15. So that is our answer. Alright, let's look at this thing. Same thing but we have a different kind of notation. Instead of cross, we have a parenthesis over here. Same thing, negative 3 times 5 could be written as negative 3 times 5 could be written as positive 5. Now once again, negative and positive become negative. 
and then 3 times 5 is what? 15. So that is negative 15 our answer. Let's do a couple of more example. How about this thing? If I put down 3 times negative 5. So once again 3 could be written as positive 3. So this positive 3 times negative 5, negative and positive become negative. 3 times 5 is 15. So negative 15 is our answer. Likewise on this side this positive 3 could be written as positive 3 with the sign over here. So, so this would become what? Positive 3 times negative 5 which would result in negative 15 piece of cake. Let's move on to just the final example and see how we are going to do this one. So once again positive 3 times positive 5 Positive times positive is positive. 3 times 5 is 15 are just simply 15. And likewise over here, this positive 3 times positive 3, positive times positive is positive. 3 times 5 is 15. So this is going to give us 15 because positive 15 and 15 are same thing. Or just simply you can write this thing over here. You can see that one over here. Positive 3 could be written as just simply 3 and this positive 5 could be written as 5 and we know that 3 times 5 is always 15. You can look at this problem this way as well. Likewise over here Positive 3 could be written as over here as what? 3 and positive 5 could be written as 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.